in Missouri. It's my last week bringing you highlights. So let's go out with a bang. We're a third of the way through the regular season. Some teams are still trying to find their identity. You just need to get one and, and kind of get that pride and that sense of what battle is back. While others are hoping to keep the steam rolling. Just be 1-0, you know, win the week. Um, don't get caught looking down the road. We've seen insane heat, insane grabs, and big time hits. So let's see what the big storylines will be in week three. We are the This is ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday. Sponsored by Harper, Evans, Wade, and Nettemeyer. When you have one shot to win it all. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Week 3 of Sports Zone Football Friday. I'm ABC 17 Sports Director Natalie Jones alongside Chanel Porter and her very last Sports Zone Football Friday. Tonight is games wrap up. We are officially a third of the way, if you can believe it, through the regular season. Bittersweet last night for yep. sure. It's hard to believe Week 3 is already in the books. We've definitely seen teams come out of the gate firing, but other teams on the opposing sides still trying to find their footing. Yeah, let's head out to our game of the week. First home game of the season for the Battle Spartans as well as first year head coach Matt Herman hosting Elias in our game of the week. First quarter already 7-0 Crusaders. Alex Fernandez lifts up a bomb, but you gotta look out for Alex Marbury. A heck of a play in traffic for an interception. Big time plays only from that man tonight. Seconds later, Sam Wyrick rolling out, throws up an absolute dime. To Lucas Bloomer, he's going to do the rest of the work. Take it all the way to the crib. 14 nothing in favor of the Satyrs. We definitely have a play like that from Helias every single yeah. week so far. Well, the Satyr student section was amped up. I was so busy hanging out with them, Chanel, I almost missed this. Marbury, you got too excited. Marbury says, hey, <laughs> get back on the field. He returns the punt all the way to the house. 21 nothing in favor of the away team. We tried it. I got the end. That's, That's the only, all that matters. That's the only thing important. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Second quarter, Spartans trying to get something going offensively. Fernandez completes this pass for a first down. Nice forward progress there, but that drive gonna stall out. Tough to get anything going against this Helias defense. And now Helias back with the rock. You gotta watch Mason French making it through all that traffic. It's gonna be a foot race now. Lots of battle defenders around him, but he's gonna outrun him. A touchdown. This man is hype after it. Helias put up more than 30 points at the half. He says hello to the camera as Henches and company go on to win big 41-0. Well, the big games in Columbia just keep on coming as the Hickman has its home opener. The QP is still in search of their first win of the season tonight against the Capital City Cavaliers. Cavs are going to get the ball first in this one. Very second play of the game. Handoff to Philip Richardson. He's cutting his way to the outside and he will go all the way to the house. What a way to start the game. 67 yards for the score. Capital City with some early momentum up 7-0 to start. Let's check out some more. The Cupids get a turn with the Rock. Looking for the answer. Carter Holiday scrambling downfield. He finds Tion Milo who breaks the tackle and then turns Ooh. on the Jets. We <laughs> thought the last one was long. This one, 86 yard touchdown and a two point conversion. We're back and forth. It's going to make it eight to seven cubes. You got some highlights to start, I would say. Oh, we weren't lacking them. Cavs <laughs> back at it. Richardson again, unstoppable on the ground. He's breaking loose to get in the end zone yet again. All of this scoring happening, Natalie, just in the first quarter. Cap M City. More to come. A lot more to come. Taking a 14 to 8 lead. There's more where that came from, though. The groundwork continues. Namaya Hamilton crosses field and gets yet another TD. The Cavs go on to win it big 59 to 16. Out in Jeff City, Damon Wells' Jays haven't beaten Rockbridge since 2016. Sam Kaiser and the Bruins looking to keep that streak alive tonight on the road. Rockbridge offense wasted no time. Drevin Seaman is a walking highlight. Turns on the Jets on fourth down, 29 yards to the crib. Rockbridge up 7-0 just like that. And how about some defense? Let's check some out. It's Cullen Snow playing hero with a pick six for Rockbridge. Bruins up by 14 now. That's only a start ball game. But Jeff City's defense flipped the momentum. Kane Fueling throws down Derek Young for a loss. That was a big throw down. The Jays got a fourth down stop. And then the Jays' run game got going. Jaden LaViolette finds a hole and picks up a nice game there. A little bit. You got to let him finish off the drive. He reaches 
over the goal line here. 13 yards for Jeff City on the board now, 14 to 7. We got a game. They're not going down yet. Right, but Rockbridge, they responded. Brady Davidson rocking a new number tonight. I like it. Finds Devin Holt on fourth down, and he's gone 60 yards to put Rockbridge in front by 14 again. A lot of long scores. A lot of them. Jeff City's defense, though, kept the Jays in it for a bit. Iskari, Seward, and Wyatt Jenkins combined for a sack here. The Jays pulled within a point off of the lead at one point, but Rockbridge holds on to win 35-27. Let's check out some scores. Camdenton takes down Waynesville 52-28. Warrensburg goes big over Smith Cotton 47-22. Southern Boone wins it in an overtime thriller 27-20. Eldon Blanks Gateway Legacy 52-0. And Blair Oaks routes Osage 56-14. Well, let's call this our halftime break of Sports Zone Football Friday. We're just halfway through. Some big wins so far, and there's a lot more that came from. We'll have highlights and scores from around Mid Missouri coming up after the break. You know what a melty grilled cheese sounds so good? But so does a bacony burger with creamy peppercorn ranch. And you couldn't possibly choose because brain no work too good when tummy empty. Sonic Bacon Peppercorn Ranch Grilled Cheese Burger Deal for $3.99. Why I like Palmer so much is I have more freedom. I've gotten to where I become my own guardian again. What I like about Palmer is we do like fun things. It's one of my favorite places to come to. Last stuff to do was awesome. You know what? I'm happy. Very happy. I would love to live Palmer forever. I love Palmer just because I feel like I can be myself. I love Palmer. I love Palmer. Yeah, I love it. Life's a little calmer with Palmer. Randall was working a triathlon and he was hit by a car. He died six months later. Harper, Evans, Wade, and Enemeyer can just alleviate so much stress. I could email them, call them, and they responded immediately and were always available. They're so good about building a relationship with you. They're the team that's working so hard and you're so grateful for them. Luke Combs here, and I have an exclusive opportunity for you to win a half million dollars with the Living Lucky with Luke Combs Lottery Experience. Join me in Nashville for a private concert at the iconic Ryman Auditorium. One lucky winner will win a half million dollars at the end of the show. Y'all feeling lucky? Enter today. Enter your Living Lucky with Luke Combs Scratchers tickets at MoLottery.com for a chance to win a private concert experience with Luke Combs and a chance at $500,000. We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and we're for the people of Missouri. We're for tiger tails lining the highway on game day. We're for tailgaters waving their flags up high. We're for people giving back to the communities they call home. We're for longtime tigers and future tigers. We're for one-handed touchdowns and threes from way downtown. We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and if you're chanting M-I-Z-C-O-U, we're for you. Carpet Values is celebrating 30 amazing years with our biggest sale of the year. There's no better time to buy your vinyl plank, carpet, hardwood, tile, and area rugs. We always have the lowest prices guaranteed. And now take 15% off all in-stock flooring and merchandise. And save 25% off all green tag merchandise. Don't miss our 30th anniversary sale. Carpet Values is your low-price superstore. At Jim Butler Chevrolet, you're the boss. That means you talk and we listen. You tell us what's important to you, and we'll help you make the best decision based on your needs and your budget. No games, surprises, or pressure. Just the best selection, trade and value, and price guaranteed. We don't just sell you a car. We help you buy the car you want without the typical dealership hassle. That's why more people buy from us than any other dealer in the region. Get started online and see why. Jim Butler is the Chevy powerhouse. If you've ever wished you could take buffalo chicken dip wherever you go, today's your lucky day because Sonic stuffed it in a crispy portable bite. Now wish for something else, like more hands to hold your bites. Sonic 299 Buffalo Chicken Dip Bites. Welcome back, everyone. We are in the second half 
of the Sports Zone Football Friday now, and the excitement is not slowing down. Well, up next, we're going to throw things up to Boonville as a part of a pair of one and one teams are still searching to get their records over that 500 hump. Let's get to those highlights. And Boonville looks like we're going to have an offensive battle to start here. Evan Bishop is looking to start off red hot, and he finds Blake Griffin in the zone. Not to be confused, of course, with the Celtics board. This is Boonville's Blake Griffin making plays. Yet nice another to long touchdown tonight. I know. <laughs> it seems to be a trend, but you all might remember this name from last week. Braden Matheny using that arm. Look at that. Finds Isaac Simpson. That is a nice response if I've ever seen one. Nicely done. Fighting back. Only the first half, but with all this offense, you knew it was coming. Dakota Truce picking up right where he left off last week with a jet sweep for a touchdown. That's a total of four TDs before the second half coming down to the wire, but Hallsville sneaks this one out of close game. 52 to 50. We're in Columbia tonight. The Tolton Trail Blazers face the Louisiana Bulldogs at home. Natalie, the Blazers yet to give up a point this season. Will they do it tonight? Well, we'll see. To start the game, wide receiver Cameron Lee catching this one and running into the end zone from the pass from R Jake Ryan to put the first touchdown on the board. But Louisiana, they're fighting back. Here it is. The Bulldogs quarterback Ethan Harrison carried a touchdown. Louisiana 7 to 6. But not for long. Tolton's Jake Ryan throws a 54-yard touchdown pass. A dot. Right to his brother, Sam Ryan. What a duo. 13 to 7 Tolton on top. Mom and Dad gotta be proud. They definitely do. So we're still in the first quarter. A lot of scoring. They aren't, aren't stopping. Another massive play from Tolton. Cameron Lee picks it off. A 74-yard pick six. That's going to make the score 20 to 7 at the end of the first quarter and Tolton going to go on to win it. They did give up some points tonight, but they win it 48 to 21 remaining undefeated. Scoreboard now Centralia gets a dub over Palmyra 35 to 24. Odessa went big over Mexico 55 to 12. Moberly took down Winfield 44 to 19. West Strand beat out Fulton 36 to 20. Diamond goes big over Russellville, Russellville 45 to 15. Harrisburg just edges out Marceline 28 to 20. Fayette squeezes past Scotland County in a barn burner 36 to 35. And Butler got it done against for sales 42 to 22. It's never too early for a rivalry game. Let's head up to the Callaway Cup as North hosts South. This is always a fun one. Tough competition for these teams in week three. Both of these guys are one and one to start the year. Not much would be sweeter than getting a second victory against their rivals, no less. North Callaway taking on quarterback Taylor Gray and the South Callaway Bulldogs. We'll start in the first quarter. Gray on third and three. It's a designed run and Gray bounces to the outside. He is going to win the foot race, folks, down the sideline to put the Bulldogs on the board first. Are the offenses just dominating tonight? I think they did it for your last one. <laughs> your last sports on football Friday. Out they said we have to show out. North Cal defense trying to get things going as well. They want some of their own offense. Lane Kimbley going back here, but he is going to get picked off by Colton Adrian. A big turnover in the red zone. Not what you like to see for North Cal just before half. Just as I shout out the offense. I know, right? <laughs> Great. Leaps in for another touchdown. The Bulldogs take a 14-0 lead in halftime. And South Callaway going to go on to win the Callaway Cup 20-6. Scoreboard now. North Shelby won over Paris 56-28. South Shelby took down Brookfield 51-6. Tipton shut out Cole Camp 54-0. Herman squeezed out a win over St. James 29-20. Sullivan wins 34-27 over Union. Wright City beat out Mark Twain 42-6. Fair Grove blanked Skyline 68-0. And Latert beat Salisbury 30-14. That is a wrap of week three of Sports Zone Football Friday. And our last one with Chanel in the house. Chanel. We're going to have more on this coming up after the break, right? Yeah, definitely a lot more coming up. You know, it was really special being out of Hickman tonight. I had a lot of people come up to me and wish me well. But, yeah, it's been great. More on that after the break before Chanel gets emotional. <laughs> come back.